Hi folks, thanks for tuning back in. Welcome to another video. I'm currently on my way to see him in County Durham for Moonrise. Now I did have, I did prepare a video last night for Moonrise. Uh, not quite a full moon, but for Moonrise and I had scouted a location um, I was, sorry, I was scouting a location last night for a picture that I wanted and I'm glad I did go because it really didn't work out me uh, planning was uh, the, the scouting mission was justified because I would have wasted tonight's trip and probably been re really disappointed in not getting the image that I wanted so I was at work today trying to think of uh, a secondary uh, place for the go for to get the full strawberry moonrise and uh, yeah the destination is same and I want same lighthouse as the foreground and the moonrise either to the left or to the right depending on where it actually uh, uh, it rises I'll be very surprised if I get get it uh, completely married up with the dead center of the the lighthouse, but you never know. And it's wonderful, it's beautiful and clear here yeah, in the northeast. It's been nice and sunny, and I wouldn't say warm. Warm is probably stretching it a little bit, but it's nice. It's uh, it's a beautiful night. I've got the Fujifilm XT5 and uh, my zoom lens, which uh, the details of that lens are escaping me at the moment I'm, I've got a bit of a brain fog it's a zoom lens that's all I can tell you uh, <laughs> the zoom lens uh, Fuji X-T5 that's if I can get on the pier which I don't think I can but I'm gonna try and I've got the drone to get the picture on the pier if I can't get onto it and what time is it now? It's 20 to 9 at night. Moon rises in about 45 minutes. So I've got plenty of time to get up there. Try and get the foreground, see if it works. And then wait for the moonrise. And then I've got to really quickly dash off back to South Shields for another photograph that I need, that I want. And I've only got a very, very small window of opportunity opportunity for to get it so I'm gonna to have to really kind of be quick get me pictures from seeing and then get back to, to South Shields so we'll see what happens so I made it to seeing in plenty of time that's the pier the lighthouse behind that. I want the moon to to rise behind now I want a picture uh, with the moon either side of that or directly behind it whatever's whatever comes naturally there's some haze that you can see behind me on the, the horizon, uh, which is a bit disheartening. Um, so it means I might have to stick around a little bit longer. You can't actually get on the pier unless you've got a fishing license, which is a bit of a, again, a bit of a, a ball ache as well. Um, so luckily the tide's right out. I can get the drone right next to the lighthouse to where I want it to be. Um, the only problem at the minute is going to be that haze on the horizon, and which might not be necessarily a problem. And... Um, that's about it really there's an, I'm, I'm here I've got everything set up I've got the drone um, the drone there uh, kind of waiting to go and yeah I'm just going to see if I can get that picture that I want if not I'll head along to Roka Lighthouse and see what I can get there
So we've got Moonrise. Here's a, a live shot of the drone. Um, it's just hovering in front of the lighthouse there and just behind it to the right, just there, is the moon. Now the moon looks massive to the naked eye, um, just there, so it's going to look pretty good on the screen. Pretty chuffed that came down now. Look at how incredible the moon looks, man. Absolutely stunning. Fabulous. Looks so good. It's going to look so good with uh, those. Because what, what we've got here is, because I can't get on the pier, I've angled the drone so it's facing directly that way. So it's got the lighthouse just there and the moon behind it because I can't get on the pier. So the two images will have to be blended together. But yeah, that's pretty astonishing. Like, so, so chuffed that came down. I'm doing a 10 second uh, shutter delay just because I'm using a uh, 200mm zoom on this lens and um, just to prevent camera shake really I've got a 13th of a second exposure at f4.8 with an ISO 160 it doesn't need to be any higher than that uh, and it's looking pretty cool guys so I hope you like the final image here we go